Law 7. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Judgment. Use the wisdom, knowledge, and legwork of other people to further your own cause. Not only will such assistance save you valuable time and energy, it will give you a godlike aura of efficiency and speed. In the end, your helpers will be forgotten and you will be remembered. Never do yourself what others can do for you. Transgression and Observance of the Law In 1883, a young Serbian scientist named Nikola Tesla was working for the European division of the Continental Edison Company. He was a brilliant inventor, and Charles Batchelor, a plant manager and a personal friend of Thomas Edison, persuaded him he should seek his fortune in America, giving him a letter of introduction to Edison himself. So began a life of woe and tribulation that lasted until Tesla's death. When Tesla met Edison in New York, the famous inventor hired him on the spot. Tesla worked 18-hour days, finding ways to improve the primitive Edison dynamos. Finally, he offered to redesign them completely. To Edison, this seemed a monumental task that could last years without paying off. But he told Tesla, there's $50,000 in it for you, if you can do it. Tesla labored day and night on the project, and after only a year, he produced a greatly improved version of the dynamo, complete with automatic controls. He went to Edison to break the good news and receive his $50,000. Edison was pleased with the improvement, for which he and his company would take credit. But when it came to the issue of the money, he told the young Serb, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor, and offered a small raise instead. Tesla's obsession was to create an alternating current system, AC, of electricity. Edison believed in the direct current system, DC, and not only refused to support Tesla's research, but later did all he could to sabotage him. Tesla turned to the great Pittsburgh magnate, George Westinghouse, who had started his own electricity company. Westinghouse completely funded Tesla's research and offered him a generous royalty agreement on future profits. The AC system Tesla developed is still the standard today. But after patents were filed in his name, other scientists came forward to take credit for the invention, claiming that they had laid the groundwork for him. His name was lost in the shuffle, and the public came to associate the invention with Westinghouse himself. A year later, Westinghouse was caught in a takeover bid from J. Pierpont Morgan, who made him rescind the generous royalty contract he had signed with Tesla. Westinghouse explained to the scientist that his company would not survive if it had to pay him his full royalties. He persuaded Tesla to accept the buyout of his patents for $216,000. A large sum, no doubt, but far less than the $12 million they were worth at the time. The financiers had divested Tesla of the riches, the patents, and essentially the credit for the greatest invention of his career. The name of Guglielmo Marconi is forever linked with the invention of radio. But few know that in producing his invention, he broadcast a signal across the English Channel in 1899. Marconi made use of a patent Tesla had filed in 1897, and that his work depended on Tesla's research. Once again, Tesla received no money and no credit. Tesla invented an induction motor as well as the AC power system and he is the real father of radio. Yet, none of these discoveries bear his name. As an old man, he lived in poverty. In 1917, during his later impoverished years, Tesla was told he was to receive the Edison Medal of the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. He turned the medal down. You propose, he said, to honor me with a medal which I could pin upon my coat and strut for a vain hour before the members of your institute. You would decorate my body and continue to let starve, 
for failure to supply recognition, my mind and its creative products, which have supplied the foundation upon which the major portion of your institute exists. Interpretation Many harbor the illusion that science, dealing with facts as it does, is beyond the petty rivalries that trouble the rest of the world. Nikola Tesla was one of those. He believed science had nothing to do with politics and claimed not to care for fame and riches. As he grew older, though, this ruined his scientific work, not associated with any particular discovery. He could attract no investors to his many ideas. While he pondered great inventions for the future, others stole the patents he had already developed and got the glory for themselves. He wanted to do everything on his own, but merely exhausted and impoverished himself in the process. Edison was Tesla's polar opposite. He wasn't actually much of a scientific thinker or inventor. He once said that he had no need to be a mathematician because he could always hire one. That was Edison's main method. He was really a businessman and publicist spotting the trends and the opportunities that were out there, then hiring the best in the field to do the work for him. If he had to, he would steal from his competitors. Yet his name is much better known than Tesla's and is associated with more inventions. The lesson is twofold. First, the credit for an invention or creation is as important, if not more important, than the invention itself. You must secure the credit for yourself and keep others from stealing it away or from piggybacking on your hard work. To accomplish this, you must always be vigilant and ruthless, keeping your creation quiet until you can be sure there are no vultures circling overhead. Second, learn to take advantage of other people's work to further your own cause. Time is precious and life is short. If you try to do it all on your own, you run yourself ragged, waste energy, and burn yourself out. It is far better to conserve your forces, pounce on the work others have done, and find a way to make it your own. Keys to Power This is the essence of the law. Learn to get others to do the work for you while you take the credit and you appear to be of godlike strength and power. If you think it important to do all the work yourself, you will never get far, and you will suffer the fate of the Teslas of the world. Find people with the skills and creativity you lack. Either hire them while putting your own name on top of theirs, or find a way to take their work and make it your own. Their creativity thus becomes yours, and you seem a genius to the world.